Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to it and also press the bell icon so that you get the latest updates which are updated in the channel. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting trap in the scotch opening. The game starts with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, d4 is the scotch opening. Black replied with e into d4 and after knight into d4, black plays knight f6 attacking the e4 pawn. White replies with knight c3 supporting the pawn and here uh, after bishop b4, black gets the easy equality because he is having pressure on the knight on c3 as well as the center with the knight on e knight uh, pressurizing on the e4 pawn. In the game, black replied with the d6 which is a rather passive move because it is blocking the line of the bishop uh, the bishop is blocked here and he won't be able to come outside and take part in the center attack um, the game continued bishop white with white bishop c4 black replied bishop e7 castling castling and h3 the idea is to prevent the bishop from coming to g4 black replied with rook e8 white played rook e1 and now here the uh, usual move is knight e5. This knight is occupying the center as well as attacking the bishop on c4. White plays bishop b3 and black can reply with c5 and he has a almost equal game attacking the center and um, maintaining the pressure in the center. In the game which we are seeing black replied with knight d7. Actually this is blocking the line of the bishop on c8 and also uh, the queen on d8 um, this is a rather blocking move which is really passive and from here white gets a, a winning position white is winning tactically you can pause the video and try to find out how white wins by force yes here the black king is uh, almost left alone here because of the uh, in the uh, because of the blocked position of the black knights and queen bishop etc so white wins by force with a very brilliant move bishop into f7 and here if black accepts the bishop with king into f7 white has another excellent move knight e6 and here the queen is trapped as you can see the queen doesn't have any place to move so white has um, a winning position here if black accepts the knight then he is losing even more quicker if king into e6 then queen d5 check and king f6 queen f5 is a checkmate and in this case on the 10th move bishop into f7 if black doesn't accept the sacrifice and plays something else then also uh, either we are getting the rook on e8 or the knight can jump into e6 and uh, fetch the queen so this will also be a winning position so this was the trap in the scotch opening i hope you like the video then you can press the like button and uh, please keep watching and subscribe to my channel so that you will be able to get the latest updates thank you for watching bye bye